Alt. Alpha and Omega sequels. Yo, I had the jewel, I got some goals. I sold a little weed, but I could never sell my soul. And when I'm in LA, you find me out in Lil Toe. Come on, vocal with my ramen, I'ma need another blow. Let's go. I thought you said this was a stream. No, this is a let's play. <laughs> Review the other Alpha and Omega movies. Let's make him walk th all the movies. Oh buddy, wait till you see the sequels, devil emoji. Wait till you see the sequels. If he doesn't make videos on the sequels, we riot. Now, let's get him to review the other seven movies and suffer. Lamau, do the other seven movies. Ooh. You have to cover all the sequels now. It's a legal obligation. Next time is Lindor 2018 in next Bagillion Alpha and Omega sequel. Are you doing a vid on the sequels, or is it the cringe for one video? Well, I'm glad you asked, Dented Trash Edition. Here, let me show you. Yeah, I'm not playing around here. Why, hello there. Yes, I do have regrets. So yeah, there are, um, eight of these things. And just a reminder, the first movie is my least favorite movie of all time. So when I discovered the existence of a sequel movie, while browsing through iTunes, if you can believe it, I wasn't exactly, uh, um, happy. But then a few months later, these movies kept popping up out of nowhere. Like, okay, look at this. Look at this, all right? First, you have Alpha and Omega 2, a holiday adventure. A holiday adventure. Who made this up? Who came up with this? Then you have Alpha and Omega 3, The Great Wolf Games, which, okay. okay. Then you have Alpha and Omega, The Legend of the Sawtooth Cave, which I guess I stopped numbering them at this point. They just gave up. Then you have Alpha and Omega Family Vacation. Okay. okay. Then you have Alpha and Omega Dino Digs. How are dinosaurs in this? I know it's a kid's movie, but isn't Alpha and Omega like in the real world, like kind of grounded? How do dinosaurs fit in here? Then you have Alpha and Omega, the big furries, which I guess is the snow theme, but didn't they already have a motherfucking snow theme with Alpha and Omega 2, the holiday adventure? And then finally you have Alpha and Omega Journey to Bear Kingdom. I don't... I don't even know anymore. So yeah, there are eight of these things. Seven of them are direct to DVD. So why are there seven sequels to an at best mediocre kids film? Well, you see, uh, I don't know, Bruh. furries. But you know what? Let's just jump right into it. I'm sure they had to have improved on something and it's over. Yeah, uh, not counting credits, this movie is barely 40 minutes long. From the runtime alone, I can tell this film was rushed. So, um, we're already in for a, a good ride. So the film opens with these boring shots of the Jasper Park, and immediately I can tell these are the exact same models as the previous movie. We are only a second in and they're already reusing assets. I feel like I'm talking about a video game, but but no, I'm talking about a movie here. We then meet our three spawns of Satan, and they're talking because the, the plot wants them to. Whoa, Dad and Mom were able to logboard this? So I guess wolf bobsledding is called logboarding. Thank you for the important lore. I think it would be killer, Stinky. <gasps> and I'm an alpha. Yeah, immediately we're given exposition on these characters' roles. And remember, Dad is a proud Omega, as am I. Well, as the future leader of the pack- Oh, what's that? Natural character? introductions this movie's for babies who who cares just shit it out on walmart nobody cares and then there's more exposition pick a tree any tree run do you need to take a whiz <laughs> so then they talk some more nobody really gives a shit but you're still so cute Cute. We then got to Caden Humphrey, now married, in a scene that I'm sure would be more emotional to the Alpha and Omega fans who bought this pile of dog shit. Can you move the logboard to the wall? This is where we fell in love. Hey, you guys remember Alpha and Omega 1? Oh, and I almost forgot. Can you retrieve the buried bones? We're serving bones. Our first dinner. <gasps> Are you criticizing my dinner choice? Typical women. Wait a minute, though. Eating bones is not a good sign. Didn't you guys eat bones only because there was a famine? At least in the last movie? I didn't know bones were a conscious cooking choice. The more you move it, the more chance you got of breaking the burger. Also, the animation quality has gone really downhill. Where the first Alpha and Omega looked like Time Splitter's Future Perfect on the original Xbox, the sequel is much more stiff and is more akin to Fight Club the video game on the original. Xbox. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. 
bruh. Hey, Humphrey. Yeah, this guy then comes out of complete nowhere. Only because, hey, remember Alpha and Omega 1? And then they talk and then go outside. Cut back to the kids dicking around or something. Hey, check it out. I see three wolves down in the valley. So yeah, there are some new wolf characters now. And I bet you they aren't going to be the shoehorned villains or anything. Remember Grandpa Winston said there were rogue wolves in the area. But aren't like all the wolves now united? Was the first film literally all for nothing? Can someone fill me in on this? I need Alpha and Omega Fan 45 to fill me in on the Alpha and Omega lore. Hey! Who are you guys? Oh yeah, they're evil. You hear that drum? Well, that was real. And then literally out of nowhere, a bear comes out. We just met these wolves and now we have a, a bear scene? I I'm not mad or anything. I'm just, what the fuck? I, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Right this way, wolf eater! You, you literally trapped Bruh. yourselves. Bruh. And then the other wolves save them. And then the animation quality dies. Bruh. And now they're saved from the bear. You guys just here to hang out? We're just passing through. We're from Banff. You gotta love how the new wolf models are significantly lower quality than the older wolf models. Wow, dude, Halo Infinite okay. looks amazing so far. Cut back to Kate and Humphrey. They talk for a bit and that's literally about it. Did you see the pups? Uh, no, I didn't. Cut back to the pups. But only two of them because one of them is missing. Ooh. He probably rushed down to help and... Wait a minute, that's not the real sound quality. Could they not get better sound effects for that? That literally sounded like a PS1 sound effect. I could get better sound effects from freesound.org. We're then reintroduced to Karen Wolf and the Dad Wolves. The rogue leader wanted to be king and couldn't. And then I told him he turns himself into a pickle. We're then reintroduced to Garth and the E-Girl. This time in the much inferior lighting engine. Garth. It's time you found a cave. Oh, that's not a good Dennis Hopper impression. Overall, the scene is basically, remember Alpha and Omega 1? And then the pups come home. Hi there. Where's Runt? So now everyone's looking for Runt. And oh, that does not look good. And then they find the evil wolves. And now the animation looks even worse. Was this outsourced in the middle of production or something? This looks awful. This is the rogues. They will have a lot of wolves. Cut to Runt being taken to the rogue wolves. Literally made up of five people. That's a lot of wolves. And you are... King. <laughs> Original. And let me guess, you're Princess. Yes. Well, King, don't blame me if you were rejected by my grandpa. This is not how you write dialogue. This is all you brought me? I told you I wanted the Travis Scott meal. I'm Travis Scott. This is my McDonald's order. <laughs> Meanwhile, Caden Humphrey are on the way to BAM, but they come across a large river. So how do they get across, you may ask? How are we gonna get across this? By referencing the first film, of course. No, Kate, no vines. <laughs> But we did it last time. Wow, they really went full Rise of Skywalker this time. So they literally just repeat the same Vine scene from the first movie, but this time on the budget of how much it cost to buy a Travis Scott meal from McDonald's. Then there's some walking and they sleep in a cave and that's about it. We then see the girl princess character giving Runt food in a scene that would be much more wholesome if Runt would just shut the fuck up. You look cold. No, I'm just- And probably hungry. I, uh- I'm a picky eater. Also, notice the princess's hair in this scene. Yeah, there's a shot that they cut to where they forgot to give her her hair. Is this movie a joke? Is this movie a joke? Hold on, let me go on the iTunes movie review page for this movie. Let me see if there's people that agree with me. Ah, uh, here we go. I love music 6627. I'm 11 and I hate this movie. Here is why. One, title is too blah. Two, animation is cheesy. Three, and my bro is eight. He hates this movie. And I asked him. Go waste your money on The Cruise. If you even rent this movie, you will still not like it. You know what? I can't top that. I think we're done with this video. Video's over. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Come back to everyone else. Everyone's all like, oh yeah, we got a big, huge army. But Kate's all like, you know, our animation budget is $6. She'll have another pack hiding in the field, attack, and destroy our home. We'll have to go with a smaller contingent. I'm in chapter 11 bankruptcy. The evil wolves talk more and then that's it. Oh my goodness, what is with these sound effects? Did they not have the budget for freesound.org? Anyways, the other pups sneak out and that's about it. Cut back to Caden Humphrey. Turns out the bird characters from the first movie found them. And they're in this movie because, uh, remember the first Alpha and Omega movie? How did you find us? Let's just say someone's bad shot flew up and over the cliff. Um... 
Ha ha funny? Nobody's laughing! Well, this is really serious. The rogue wolves have captured Runt. What? Wait a minute, how do they know who Runt is? Cut to the rogue wolves again. Wow. What a way to Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up! Caden Humphrey then me up with the other pups. How the heck did you find us? Whose footprints are these? This leads to, I kid you not, another reference to the vine scene from the first movie. But they just, they just did a reference to the vine scene from the first movie! Is this movie really that creatively bankrupt? This is garbage! Cut to Runt and the gang, and, and then this guy falls off a cliff, that's about it. Nothing happens in this scene. Nothing happens in this entire movie. Nothing happens. Why does this have a fan base? This is terrible! Hold on, let me go on iTunes again. Who liked this movie? Who even likes this garbage? Oh, uh, here we go. Mr. Trans 65 with the, the review titled comedy. I don't want watch this movie right now. I just want rent only for this movie. You know what? I couldn't have said it better myself, honestly. Cut to Caden Humphrey again. He's alive. But he's surrounded by a pack. And that's all that happens. Cut to Rudd and Princess. They talk, that's it. Are you gonna eat me? Yes. Eat you? <laughs> I make vine compilation. Cut to Caden Humphrey. They spot a baby bear. And for some reason, just like in the first movie, the baby bear can speak wolf English, but the grown up bear can't. So, in other words, nobody gave an actual fuck. Here's hoping Alpha and Omega 8 can clear up these plot issues. Hey, can I come with you? Talk to the paw. So, Humphrey's all like, yeah, fuck you, kid. But then. So you're just gonna leave that cup alone? Wait a minute, who are you? Yeah, so this random porcupine character comes out of nowhere and tells Humphrey to take in the baby bear. Did anyone actually care when making this thing? Was there any effort put into this movie? Like, honestly, was there any effort at all? This is easily the laziest movie I have ever watched in my life. So Humphrey takes in the baby bear and the pups are all like, Dad, Stinky and I had our fill with a bear yesterday. Even though five seconds earlier, they were all like, so cute. Uh, for, for a future predator. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that. Y you cannot do that. You just can't have characters have one motivation and switch it. Th 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 like, th th what if this were Runt? Then I'd eat him. Okay. So then Kate and Humphrey are all like, You pups, stay here with Patty. And the pups are all like, I fucking hate mom and dad for keeping us here. And now it's time for Kate and Humphrey to face the rogue wolves. Our entire pack here, they'd outnumber us. There's like five wolves there. The pups then meet up with the dad wolves and there's more talking and shit. What are you doing with the bear cub? We kind of adopted him. Another question. What is lick my? Everybody keeps telling me I have lick my or was diagnosed with lick. It's uh lick my balls. I'm very sorry. Also, in this shot, one pup is on the left and one pup is on the right. I don't remember their fucking names. But then in a separate shot, they completely switch sides. Like I said, nobody cared when making this thing. Logic is not our friend here. You're goddamn right. Just so you are the cocaine -er. In my nose, Mr. Witter. <laughs> Mr. Witte, I require a method. Caden Humphrey then meet up with the other wolves. Dad? Dad? And then his hopper's all like, Some of those wolves used to run with my pack. Right, they'll recognize us, but they don't know me as an alpha. So Humphrey rides on Garth's back pretending to be an alpha, and the rogue wolves fall for it? That is one big wolf. He's so powerful, his legs don't even move. I want you to howl. Did you hear that weak howl? Wait a minute, though. He was a good howler in the last movie. Did the movie forget its own plot? What the fuck is going on here? Audio jungle. And then they talk for a little bit. Where did you come from? I was. This man, Cy Gangnam Style, assassinated Ian Hecox, Hecox of Smosh. Oh, him? He's cringy. A supreme alpha, like all of us. Tell me, do you play on Xbox? Talk about gaming. They then sneak Runt away from the bad guys, and they escape from the other bad guys. But now there's a massive chase scene. Oh boy, this is gonna be action packed. Oh. Take the pups to the north side. What about me? I'll bring you to the middle of the forest. And then the mom bear comes out of nowhere. And then Princess becomes good and runs away, I guess. Princess! Princess! <laughs> and now the bears are working with the wolves. And there's a whole action scene now. And then the fighting just kind of ends. <laughs> <laughs> Cut back to Kate Humphrey and the pups. They are all really cold and need shelter. And then they die. Nah, JK, they wolf bobsled again. Then they see that one guy from the first movie, but the model is incredibly shittier. And the movie's like, oh yeah, this is a Christmas movie. So the guy lets them in, they sleep in his house, and th then the movie ends. Oh yeah, that's the ending. A shoehorn Christmas message is the ending of this movie. 
This is a fucking joke. You know what? That was really painful. But I'm gonna be honest here. I kinda liked it a little bit more than the first. To be fair though, it is for all the wrong reasons. There's a certain entertainment factor to how bad this movie actually is. It was rushed and it really shows. Especially when most of this movie is based on just referencing the first movie. In other words, Alpha and Omega, The Rise of Skywalker. But with that extra hint of laziness that made it funny to me. It goes back to what I said in the previous Alpha and Omega video. I take a bad, enjoyable movie than a bad, bad movie. For one thing, this film completely removes all the song numbers. There are dumb mistakes that made me die laughing. And while this film did make me want to kill myself, it was only like 40 minutes. So by the time I grabbed the noose, the movie was already over. So yeah, don't get me wrong, it's really fucking bad. But I mean, I enjoyed it more than the first one. I really can't recommend it. But I mean, it's something alright. And yeah, that's all there is to say. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, I remember it, so you don't have to. Now if you excuse me, I gotta get myself a Travis Scott burger. Oh yeah, and my Sprite. Same order since back in Houston, and you could try too. Something feels so wrong, something feels so wrong. It's my sexuality, otherwise I saw the car. Are you scared of me when I have it come? Put your dick inside my bone. And probably hungry. I, uh... I'm a picky eater, just warning you. Here's my quarter pounder with lettuce, uh, pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard, and bacon. Yeah. 